Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. And I'm Levi James. And we're coming at you from Circle B Western Wear in Brockport, New York. We got a pair of beautiful black cherry goat Nakona boots that uh, are discontinued. N Nakona isn't making this boot anymore and that's what Circle B is known for. Uh, Levi saw these boots and says, I want to do a video on those. They were just calling my name right off the wall. Look how beautiful these are. So beautiful. Come on. And we both found our own sizes, so we're both going to be able to try on this boot in this video. So let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way Levi was perusing the wall over there here at Circle B Western Wear in Brockport, New York and found these black cherry goat Nakonas that kind of looks like a Lucchese classic, but we'll get back into that a little bit later. <laughs> but uh, Levi, what drew you to this boot when it was over there on that wall? Okay, I mean, just, I mean, look at the coloring. It is, just, here's an up close, right? The thing is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I wish with the color scheme that we had going, what was it, two years ago during your wedding? Mm-hmm. I wish I could go back in time and wear a boot like this to your wedding. I did wear a black cherry you boot. You did, you did, right? <laughs> so as best man, this would have been a good one to wear because it wasn't quite as fancy as the one that you were wearing, right? That's what I'm talking you about. You had the exotic... Can't upstage me. I can't upstage you, right? <laughs> but I can match you. Now this would have been a nice, nice match for that. But the coloring is beautiful, right? Um, it's just, and it has that classic look, yep. right? And I like that. I like the classic looks. Um, and again, it has that... that I mean, I didn't know this off the wall, but it has that hard leather insole, which I like. It is so. a very traditionally made boot. And uh, before we get into just picking at the details uh, as we want, let's do it in an organized fashion, Levi. Sorry. I know you're Sorry. an organized guy, so you gotta get down with me here <laughs> in the rundown. All right, guys, this Nakona is black cherry goat, and it looks amazing. That goat is on the foot counter and the shaft, just a beautiful color. I don't think you can go wrong with Black Cherry. It is one of the most versatile colors. I think it goes with everything. Classy. It also has what I wanna call a two-toe. It's almost a J-toe, but a little bit wider than what a J-toe would be, but not quite as round as an R-toe. Lucchese calls that toe a two-toe. And um, just looking at this boot, I think it's kind of like a Lucchese copy with the cording and the shaft and everything very much similar to a Lucchese Classic Black Cherry, which I also did a video on in Boston. You can see that above. Uh, this is a little bit more of a cheaper model than that, but a very similar build and look all together. It also stands at about 12 inches tall and features cording in the shaft here. This is just evidence that cording is not new, guys. I know it's very popular right now with Tacovas and Ruho and you name it, everybody wants to do cording right now. But cording has been around for a really long time and people have been copying each other on that cording look forever. So it's a classic look and I love it here in this boot too. It also features about a one and a half inch stacked leather heel and it has a leather outsole with brass nails and wood pegs in here. And you can tell that they're brass nails because they're starting to corrode a little bit, which isn't a problem. Um, but that's just something that you will see on a lot of these new old stock boots. And of course, this is a good year welt. So if you happen to just fall in love with this boot and get a hole in the sole from wearing it so much, you can get them resold. On the inside, it's leather lined all the way through and it's super soft, especially is. around the foot. This oh, is yeah. a really nice feeling boot on the inside. And like Levi said, it does have a hard leather insole on the inside. It's very traditionally made. Beautiful old Nakona here. You gotta love it. It's coming in at $199.95, which is a really good price for this boot. I think it's amazing. And of course, it is made in the USA. Now let's try this boot on and see how it looks and feels. Let's do it. All right, guys, we got on the Nakona Black Cherry Goat boots right now. And damn. They look really good, don't they? Oh yeah, I'm loving the look. Nice. Loving the look. Right when I put the boots on, I just noticed the that heel counter. It really cups your heel in a way that boots just don't do as mm -hmm. much nowadays. And that, of course, is a leather heel counter 
that just feels incredible and adds a lot of support to the boot. It does feel good. It does, and it actually has a lot of, um, I have high arches, so it has a, a pretty good arch support as well, which I like. Mm -hmm. And of course, that hard leather insole is the traditional make. And uh, it will form to your foot over the years that you wear this boot. And it ends up feeling incredible. Trust me, guys, once you have a hard leather insole boot, a traditionally made boot for a year, two years, three years, it just keeps getting more and more and more comfortable. The GOAT is really light. Feels yes. nice, like what you'd expect from GOAT. And of course, it will continue to look good as you wear it. The POV. Oh, damn, you that can looks see good. how shiny those boots yeah. are. It looks great. Those boots look spectacular. That's a dress boot for sure. Yeah, I want to go home and get dressed up right now. Right? Love it. I really like these Nakona Goat Black Cherry boots. I think out of the three that we tried today, which you guys will see later, because I think I'll post this one first here from Circle B Western Wear. Out of three we tried today, this one's my favorite. This one, I was gonna say the same thing. This one is definitely my favorite. This one is classy, um, it's beautiful, right? And I just love the fit on, on me personally. Yeah, me too. And the heel counter was really well built. These old Nakonas guys, I swear they're so underrated and you can find a bunch here at Circle B Western Wear. Also like the toe shape. Not quite Jato, not quite Arto. I love the cording too, like you mentioned, the cording's been going on for a while, um, but it, it works really well with the coloring here. Yeah, I agree. One area where I feel like they could have done a little bit more is in the pull tabs up here. Like it's just straight black leather. Mm -hmm. Kind of stands out a little bit awkwardly, uh, but again, most likely you're gonna be wearing your pants over it. Right. They knew that and they're trying to keep the costs a little bit lower for you. If they're trying to do like a kind of a Lucchese copy boot here, Lucchese classic. Um, but again, it's not like they could trademark a black cherry goat boot, right? That's not something you can copyright. So it's mm -hmm. not, it's not, technically copying but also kind of also is <laughs> and at $199.95 that's a crazy good deal it's a great deal for how beautiful it is and well constructed so well constructed Very guys beautiful. like you can buy goat boots now for more than that that aren't as good as this. Not even close to the same construction. So that's the value that you get here at Circle B Western Wear or at CircleBWesternWear.com is that you can get an awesome boot that's still brand new that was constructed in the old days and they'll last much longer than the boots that are being made now for the same prices. Plus it's an amazing place. I mean, it's a log cabin. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. It is so cool here. <laughs> so if you're definitely passing through Western New York, Brockport, you gotta stop by, or even just go out of your way a little bit and come here and you'll spend so much time here because they have so much new old stock. You might have a trouble finding some sizes because again, they are discontinued, a lot of these boots here, but damn, you guys could find a pair like these that actually fit and it will make your month, maybe even your year. <laughs> Plus, it's a good time, right? Searching through all the exotics that they have here, mm -hmm. even if they don't have your fit. Just, it, it was a good time just looking for boots. Yeah, it's like, oh, what's this leather? What's this leather? What's yeah. this? And it was, it was cool to see the styles that you don't see as frequently in other boot stores. So if you're ever passing through, definitely stop here. Go to circlebwesternwear.com and you can search there too. If you like this video, definitely subscribe. I'm doing videos all the time. Levi joins me every once in a while too. So maybe I'll just have to make a Levi and JC playlist. Oh, I like it. So you guys like can it. just go through all of them and uh, <laughs> have a good time with both of us. So definitely subscribe, like this video if you liked it. And if you didn't, then uh, why are you still here? Like you made it through the whole video and you're still watching? Thanks. <laughs> See you guys around. Peace. Peace. <laughs> why are you still here? <laughs> Nakona boots and black cherry Are such a nice value it's scary And the best place to get them is Down at Circle B Yeah <laughs> Why don't you check out this other video up here I did at Davis Trailer World with Levi About a pair of Dan Post Python boots Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.